Thanks very much, and it looks like tonight is going to be a real cracker. Let's meet the fighters. Yes, first up, we've got London's finest, the huge, the undefeated, Jack Tough Tom Holmes. Let's take a look at Tough Tom in action. He's a real expert at classic Georgian bare knuckle boxing, where two rivals stand stock still and slug it out. Yeah. Next up, it's the newcomer, all the way from New York in the USA, it's the comparatively smaller Bill Richmond. Bill was born a slave in New York, USA, and learned his trade boxing for entertainment at the Duke of Northumberland's dinner parties. I have to say, he looks a lot smaller than Tough Tom. I think this is going to be carnage, John. Certainly looks that way, Steve. Seconds out, round one. Oh, and Tough Tom is really fired up for this one. Oh, I can't watch. <sighs> Hold on, what was that? It looks like Bill Richmond has got out of the way of one of oh. Tough Tom's punches. Is that allowed? I guess. Oh, he's got out of the way of another one. That is extraordinary. Nobody has ever got out of the way in the whole history of boxing. Although, when you come to think about it, not letting your opponent hit you in the face is not a bad idea. Yeah, he's invented a whole new technique here. It makes you wonder why nobody ever got out of the way before. Well, probably because their heads were mashed up by all the boxing. <laughs> oh! Oh! He's floored him. He has floored him. Oh, and it looks like Jack Tough Tom Holmes is out for the count. You're out! And Bill, get out of the way, Richmond, is the winner. Back to the studio. Of course, the boxing move that Bill Richmond invented isn't really called the getting out of the way. It's now known as the bob and weave. Though I personally prefer the move known as the scream and run away. Shocking Scotland! Sporting events have always been popular in Scotland. But it wasn't until the Georgian era that the Highland Games became an annual event with some pretty extraordinary contests. Well, today's programme features a number of traditional Highland game pursuits. There's the running race, the lifting a heavy stone competition and throwing a hammer, preferably in the direction of the bagpipe player. Oops. I feel a bit bad about saying that. Anywho, there's one particular event that caught my attention and I have the winner here with me now. Jamie, congratulations. Thanks, Andrea. So you won for the bizarrely named Twisting the Cow competition. Can you tell us exactly what that involves? Well, Andrea, it involves twisting the four legs off a cow. A, a dead cow? Aye, a dead cow. We're not animals. And can you tell us exactly how you made it through to today's final? Well, I put in a lot of hard work, but uh, mostly I did it on the hoof. Ah! <laughs> on the hoof. I imagine twisting the leg of a cow is pretty difficult. Do you get many injuries? I well, I did tear a calf muscle during my warm-up, but I've never been injured myself. <laughs> and, and what was your prize for winning? Uh, a fattened sheep. Great. And are you confident about winning next year's competition? I am quite bullish about it. <laughs> Good luck with that. Back to the studio. Want some? No, no sorry. I'm vegan. OK. Fair enough. Which of these was a genuine Scottish sport? Was it A, haggis chasing, B, horse skull sledging, or C, scotch egg and spoon racing? The answer is... B. In the Middle Ages, people would slide down Heading Hill in Stirling on a horse's skull. They called the sport Hurley Hackett. We can't see me and crawl. Stuff they don't teach you at school. The past is no longer a mystery. Hope you enjoyed. Horrible history.